Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today's topic is about the impact of technology on the world of structural design and how it's changing the game. We'll be exploring the advantages and concerns of computer analysis and why qualitative analysis is becoming increasingly important. So, buckle up and get ready to delve into the world of computer-aided design. Let's get started. The use of computers in the structural design process has revolutionized the way we calculate forces and moments in structures. With faster and more accurate results, it's no wonder that computer analysis has become an indispensable tool for many engineers. However, there's a growing concern that relying too heavily on computer analysis may reduce a designer's understanding of real-life structural behavior. Engineering schools have long emphasized mathematics, leading to a blind faith in theoretical calculations and neglecting the physical reality of structures. To address these concerns, there's a growing recognition of the importance of qualitative analysis in evaluating analysis results. This non-numerical evaluation of the structure and its behavior is becoming increasingly popular as a complement to numerical analysis. It provides a different perspective on the structure, ensuring that the design is not solely based on mathematical calculations, but also takes into account the physical reality of the structure. Let's take a look at a figure that demonstrates the key principles of qualitative analysis. It involves considering the deformed shape of the structure and breaking down complex structures into simpler systems. This type of analysis provides a deeper understanding of the structure and its behavior and can often lead to the correct solution when numerical analysis falls short. The structural design process consists of three phases, synthesis, analysis, and design. During the synthesis stage, the designer decides on the geometry and load resistance of the structure, which affects the form of joints and the ease of fabrication and erection. Computer analysis has made many simplifications in the past redundant and may lead to more complex structures, so it's crucial to consider the consequences on fabrication and erection during the synthesis stage. Bending moments can still occur in members of a triangulated structure, even with point loading applied to nodes. The designer must find a balance between fabrication simplicity and analysis accuracy, pinning the ends of diagonals can greatly impact the truss behavior and can be determined by comparing displacements of models. A pinned end model is a cost-effective solution for fabrication and should be used in the analysis and design. The cost-effectiveness of a design can be improved through a more appropriate analysis model or by considering practical fabrication aspects. The designer must weigh the benefits of using a simpler model or optimizing section sizes to determine if it improves cost effectiveness. Connection details can greatly influence the overall cost of the design, so they should not be overlooked. In conclusion, computer analysis has transformed the structural design process with its speed and accuracy. However, qualitative analysis, which involves a non-numerical evaluation of structure behavior, is becoming increasingly important in the appraisal of analysis results. A combination of numerical and qualitative analysis can provide the best results, but it takes practice to master these principles. So keep learning and practicing to improve your understanding. That's all for today's video. We hope you found this information helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching.